Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This role is featuring one of my teammates, Bo. I don't really get a lot of roles with him, but when I do, he plays a very uh, nice half guard over under game, very similar to my game. So this is probably gonna be like a mirror match. So right here, I get a Tayatoshi uh, takedown, sweep, uh, throw, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and I'm able to get the two points there. Uh, and But this allows him to get into a half guard position, a very deep half guard position. So what I start doing is what I always do, feed out those lapels, because I know I'm I'm gonna end up using them at some point in the match so right here i'm trying to feed out the lapels but he's doing a very good job of rocking from hip to hip uh so what i'm what i'm doing to kind of counteract his uh, ability to sweep me is i'm putting my weight in my hands and letting my feet be nice and light so when he takes me side to side i'm still able to maintain a kind of float over him and not let him get the sweep that he wants so right here what i'm doing is i'm taking my left shoulder i'm putting my shoulder into his face and i'm sitting to uh my left hip and what i want to do is free my right leg he's got got me in a lockdown position here but what i do to free that leg is i try to circle over the top and i usually uh when i'm able to circle over the top then i bring my knee up the knee line clear the knee line and then start um getting the um, uh, knee cut pass but right here he's got me in a very precarious position and what I should have done is uh, walked my hands back up to his head instead of uh, conceding the uh, sweep right here but uh, uh, I wasn't thinking about that I was trying to make sure that he didn't uh, uh, split my legs too far apart and that gave him the sweep right here and what I didn't do is stop him from getting the over under position the over under position is a position that I play a lot and I know uh, a majority of the counters but I didn't establish not one of those counters and he was was able to pass into side control and no matter what level you are from white belt to black belt being in someone's side control sucks so what he's trying to do with his left hand is control my head and i'm doing a very good job of stopping his arm from getting around my head because once he gets head control and side control it becomes very hard to recover the guard and as you can see here i'm able to recover the guard get my knee in and uh start um attacking uh or getting my guard back into a i'm still in a defensive position he's still in a very good passing position so what i'm doing is i'm grabbing my instep here and i'm trying to bring my leg uh, closer to the back of his head and I'm using my left arm to grab his pants and kind of keep him situated. Now I start doing the over under defense, which is take his head to the opposite side. And right here, I'm able to uh, bring my right leg over and my uh, get into an umaplata position here. And I control his roll. What I did was I grabbed the back of his belt and, and slowed down his roll so I was able to follow him and uh, get the sweep uh for the umaplata sweep uh, umaplata i don't really use it as a finishing position i use it more as a sweeping position and as you can see here now i'm in his half guard once again and i'm doing a very good job of uh, keeping my pressure on him and i'm trying to free my leg here so he still got me in the half guard position but i'm doing a, a, a better job of not letting him rock me from side to side so right here i'm keeping heavy pressure uh, with my shoulder into his chin and I'm sitting to my left hip and I'm trying to do the escape again. He still has me in the lockdown, uh, but I'm doing a better job of controlling him, not letting him uh, rock me back and forth to get a, another sweep. So right here, I'm able to uh, free my leg almost from the uh, lockdown that he has. And I'm, now I'm trying to clear my lay, uh, my knee line and uh, I'm able to clear the knee line. And what I'm going to start doing here is uh, push his head to the mat and uh, start getting the knee cut pass. Right here, I grab the arm, I've got the underhook my chin my head is under his chin and i'm going to start knee cut passing but uh unfortunately for me uh the time is going to run out before i'm able to get the knee cut pass uh so right here i'm so close to getting it but that is the end of the roll so ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the roll. This was a very, very short one. We didn't start uh, exactly at the five minute mark, but I made a lot of mistakes. So let's just hop right into the takeaways. Uh, one of the mistakes I made was not addressing the over under position. He was trying to tuck his head to my far hip. And what I should have done is brought my right arm in and pushed his head to the other side, exposing his arm and getting into an umaplata position earlier. I was able to do it in the second half when he was trying to pass uh, and that set up the umaplata for this sweep. Another thing I should have done is uh, put more pressure on him and not let him rock me side to side. I, again, I did a better job of doing that in the second half of the role where I where he was still in the half guard position, but I was putting more pressure on him and I was able to free my knee line and get into the knee cutting position, which is what I should have tried to do uh, from the very beginning. Also on that sweep he got from the half guard or deep half half guard position, uh, what I should have done is walked my hands, walked my body back towards him instead of walking my hands away from him. That gave him the space he needed to uh, turn into me and get the sweep. 
but uh, other than that you know i'm still working still out here grinding uh and thank you guys for supporting the channel and uh showing me um just a lot of love for the for the channel and my jujitsu uh journey i really do appreciate it and i will catch you guys on the next one peace